Peely's girlfriend is currently waiting for him arriving at Retail Row, but the crash barrier won't open as he doesn't have enough wins. Drop a like to let Peely win his next game of Fortnite. With the Fortnite Summer Splash event going on until the end of Chapter 2 Season 3, kinda disappointing people in the free rewards aspect, instead just rotating LTMs which we had last year, but on top of that, the free rewards that we're currently not seeing, everybody's probably just anticipating the update for the cars when this will be on July 21st as a reliable source came out stating, and ultimately when this is added, the LTM that will be able to enter to race other players or opponents and eliminate them even in cars to get to the finish line as quick as possible possible. What many people aren't talking about however, is with the addition of this new LTM and this new vehicle feature or transportation method, will there be a challenge set and free rewards we're able to earn for this limited time mode or in celebration of it being updated into the game, and let's just say that's one of the many things we're going to be discussing in today's video alongside a ton of other free, hidden or very secret rewards. Also before we go any further I just want to remind you guys that I try to meet my 5 daily gift limit every single day, obviously giving out new new cosmetics or skins to subscribers, so if you're not subscribed hit the big red button and comment your Epic Games ID down below so that way I potentially can get around to sending you your very own gift. If you also subscribe right now we're incredibly close to 1.8 million and everybody's support and help will get us there literally tomorrow if not this week, or in no time if everybody played their part on this video right now as 70% of you all watching right now aren't subscribed, so make sure to hit that big red button. Also want to give a huge shout out to the Code Squad, obviously rocking code friend the machine in the item shop, as this makes everything I do here in terms of the legit gifting system that I show every video possible on this channel. If you are using the code let me know in the comment section and I'll heart each and every one that I actually see considering I do get a lot of comments. Ok so in terms of the cars coming into Fortnite Battle Royale, many of you may be wondering how will this work considering obviously in the trailer we have fully revealed roadways not disconnected by obviously flooded water actually emerging over the lower parts, well the water for the those who don't know, or if you didn't know, is receding at quite a fast or unnoticeable rate considering here's a comparison from the first stage of the season until what we're currently in now in update 13.20. This means by July 21st, according to our source, obviously leaked to other people in the community such as YouTubers and data miners, the water level will be low enough on this date to reveal a lot of roads in the retail row region of the map, but also there will still be some water covering the roads, but then we'll be able to simply drive through this as normal vehicles can to a certain extent in real life before obviously stopping the engine. A direct example of this is what people aren't talking about or a particular car seen in the Season 3 trailer, where this one at the Fortilla seems to have rode over the water onto this surrounded by water trash pile island. And for those that don't know, we're going to be seeing six different types of vehicles, obviously all on screen right now, including what we previously didn't know about, as we thought they were only, adding the cars or vehicles on these posters, and the additional ones are the taxi and police cars that will be re-implemented into Fortnite finally after being taken out, with Epic Games obviously sympathising or doing their part for the BLM or Black Lives Matter movement. Also I'm sure you're all aware by now that upon entering a vehicle that is accessible in-game despite the sharks that actually could require fuel in real life to use, we can see all the fuel stations of where we'll need to fuel up in cars once they're added, but are completely ineffective toward our electronic transportation vehicles now. These fuel stations will allow us to fuel up our cars obviously, and we'll be able to find more so fueled up cars around the gas station locations, obviously of which you can see marked all on screen right now in the map. And if we happen to find a random abandoned vehicle that can be entered, although it's in the middle of nowhere, if this doesn't have too much fuel, don't worry because data miners a long time ago found in Chapter 2 Season 1 that these are going to be a portable fuel method, the jerry cans, however we don't know if we can fill them up once emptied or if they disappear from our inventory, or if we can simply use already what's predetermined from them spawning in upon picking them up. Either way these are going to be very useful considering the cars only spawn in limited supply anyways, and I'm guessing this also applies to this portable fuel method being the jerry cans. With everybody knowing about the things that will be happening in normal battle royale, and the reason I say normal battle royale is because there will be 
this LTM implemented or added as soon as cars are updated into the game considering, well, people have already managed to access this. Currently in the files, as you can see, it states on screen by Fortori. It's referred to as Chrome in the coding, but we need to get to the finish line however we can, and obviously this may involve the other vehicles currently that are vaulted, such as the Quad Crasher or the All-Terrain Carts. My best guess for how this will work, obviously as stated in the coded description leaked early, we'll be able to shoot and eliminate other players, and obviously it will kind of be like a free-for-all Mario Kart scenario, and upon this update going live, I'm guessing this is also also going to be the video showcasing or presenting cards to us in Fortnite for the first time, as Fortnite like to do these funny short cinematics, and the best way to do this also at the same time of showing off this LTM would be to do it within this funny Mario Kart like scenario itself. With everything big or hyped up in Fortnite upcoming, there's usually so much surrounding it so Epic Games can draw as much attention to the game as possible, so that means with the addition of these new transportation vehicles and the LTM that we've now determined is coming to the game, Epic games try and hype it up across as many places as possible and for them to do this despite just the LTM and the vehicles themselves being added, a free reward challenge set obviously surrounding these cars and the particular LTM for placing in the top 10, top 3 or even first place I think should be added. Even if it's just 3 rewards and one of those is XP based but then the subtotal one is another cosmetic that we can perhaps earn, maybe even just a wrap and the others are stickers or sprays, this would still be really cool. Cool. It also would kind of make sense considering we haven't received any Summer Splash rewards or Summer rewards this year like for last year the 14 days of summer where one reward and challenge was revealed every day progressing throughout the event until we could eventually earn the Peely Smoothie Backbling for completing all other challenges and earning all other rewards contained in this prior summer challenge set. Also with this running until the end of Chapter 2 Season 3 the Summer Splash event or the LTMs rotating every day with them not adding any incentive to grind these LTMs, it would make the most sense considering cars are so hype in Fortnite right now, or perhaps one of the only hyped upcoming known factors, that they add a challenge set surrounding this LTM with, again, the free rewards that I said they should implement too. An example being perhaps what we can earn as the subtotal reward, a taxi cab wrap, so we can obviously then wrap whatever vehicle we're driving, whether it be a boat, helicopter, or car in this taxi cab theme. And perhaps some other rewards could be just like a sticker of a car or police car siren, and even just a simple spray displaying people obviously using the cars or a drawn artwork of the cars on a spray background. The possibilities are actually endless if Epic Games really knuckled down and wanted to make this update huge, considering they have a very talented design team and a lot of people working in office to obviously team up and then work together to get this process done even quicker, or to make sure it's done to its full potential. Sadly, as of right now, nothing is confirmed in terms of free rewards surrounding the cars or the challenge set in terms of complementing the addition of the LTM, but around the time of the 21st rolling around, we'll be able to earn a ton more free rewards that perhaps you guys don't even know about. For instance, firstly, I don't know if you guys were aware, but Epic Games were running a contest for people in the community to design their very own spray, and the winner of this was finally picked. This actually went to Gunheaded over on Twitter, as he made a very clear depicted and funny Meowsles tribute from being kicked out of the yacht by Deadpool, obviously sat now at the cardboard box factory in a cardboard box itself. It's undetermined as of now, they've also stated in this announcement winner tweet how we'll be able to obtain it but to keep our eyes peeled, or on the lookout for the foreseeable future of when they announce how this is officially claimed. But it will be free considering we've never seen any spray in the item shop that we had to buy, or any spray rotate throughout here overall. Many people were initially speculating that this could be a 2FA reward, replacing Boogie Down considering this has been in the game for quite some time now, if not over a full year or year and a half ever since the Boogie Down contest winner was announced, but don't forget this will be replaced with the Emote Royale dance winning emote, obviously when Epic Games decide, well, we're finally going to add this into the game considering they announced that they're looking for a winner very early on in 2020. With that said though, don't forget if you've never claimed the Boogie Down emote or knew about this considering you're quite new to Fortnite in the last year, to claim this now as it may be disappearing and obviously only requires you to protect your account that much further by enabling 2FA, which 
which obviously you can do from going on the Epic Games website, logging into your account and going through the steps on your account security, which obviously gives you three options and you can choose whatever caters towards your current situation the best. I also highly advise if you've got a Samsung device, enabling 2FA right now as you may be able to earn not just a free skin in the near future for doing very little, but perhaps one of the most hype skins ever in Fortnite Battle Royale's history counterpart, the female Galaxy skin, as the Galaxy skin you may or may not know is so wanted by everybody in the community if they didn't obtain it, as it's the first ever exclusive skin that's currently in the vault. The only possible way players could get this on their account right now is from merging it, if the merging account's feature did come back, onto their main account from another. It would still entail an account obviously having it unlocked from way back when this promotional exclusive skin was available, so yeah, it's still going to be just as rare. Either way, in terms of this female Galaxy skin, there's going to be a new exclusive tournament called the Galaxy Cup, and players who've enabled only 2FA and are at least level 15 in Chapter 2 season Season 3 will be able to then participate on, I believe, a Samsung device. We also have proof that this is going to be going down at some point this month as Samsung are currently doing a Summer of Galaxy event, kind of like the Summer Splash event we have in Fortnite over the duration of July, and there will be a ton of rewards and offers for the new and existing Galaxy owners, obviously meaning the types of phones that are alike that are also to be revealed. In the coming weeks, Galaxy fans will get bonus content from Netflix, rewards from from Niantic in Pokemon Go, Fortnite and Forza Street. In terms of eligibility to enter this tournament or claim any rewards, FireMonkey tweeted out the following, the Summer of Galaxy event regarding eligibility, based on the wording, all Samsung Galaxy devices with access to the Galaxy Store are eligible, meaning all Galaxy phones for Samsung should allow us to go in this Galaxy Cup tournament, hence the name Galaxy. However, if you own a Galaxy A71 5G, S20 plus 5G or Note 10 plus 5G, you get one year of Postmates free deliveries and $25 in bonus credit to Postmates. Either way, it seems whatever Samsung device you own in terms of a tablet or phone, you're going to be benefiting largely considering they're doing an all-month event giving out a ton of awesome prizes this July. If you cannot claim any of these rewards, however, and don't have a Galaxy phone or access to anybody who will let you go on it, in order to obtain the emoticon and spray, you will have to watch FNCS gameplay over on Twitch. Luckily, Epic stated that we'll be making these drops available for anybody streaming FNCS gameplay, and the following rewards mentioned in this tweet however blown up more so so you can see them better are this blue sticker obviously of the FNCS logo and again this blue revamped FNCS logo but in spray form. Also don't forget that the Axe of Champions is taken off everybody's account at the start of a brand new FNCS Cup as then the new eligible players obviously who succeed in these recent times will have it granted onto their account however it's never permanent and will reset the next time so if you want to then regain it you'll need to constantly be on top of your game and placing high in these FNCS tournaments. If competing isn't for you and obviously watching streams or linking your Epic Games account as you think this may be a hassle, for all those PlayStation owners who play on the platform anyways Fortnite, we may be able to earn a PlayStation Celebration Pack sooner than you might think. Every season we usually see the instalment of at least one and one starter pack and this newest one will come with the Down Arrow Contrail and the Stratosphere Glider for completely free to complete the prior celebration pack set where we obtained this skin and the back bling. Anyways, with that concluding, all the free rewards upcoming, perhaps even in the cars updates, that's all I've got for you guys in today's video, so thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed or want to keep referring back to it, make sure to slap a like in the video down below and subscribe to the channel right now with all notifications turned on as 70% of you guys aren't subscribed and if you made it up until this point and you're not subbed, what are you doing? You're clearly enjoying the content, but hopefully I can recognise you guys in the comment section of the future videos to come here on the channel, and I'm out. So have an amazing rest of your day or night, wherever you are, whenever you're watching. Have a good one, take it easy, and as always, peace.